Hello, welcome to Persian with Fana Salama Hamidi. In this video, I'm going to tell you about colors. Yes, colors in Persian. First of all, let me tell you about a point when I want to say the colors in Persian. Uh, first of all, we have some uh, specific colors in Persian too, as you can see here, for example, blue and navy blue, but generally people prefer to just uh, use words such as dark and light instead of saying this kind of specific words. So pay attention. But of course, there are some exceptions that they tell you at the rest of the video. Let's start with the colors. First one is green. Sabs. Sabs, white, sefid, sefid, purple, banafsh, banafsh. For black, we have two words. One of them is siyah, and another one is meshki. Siyah, meshki. Oh, we have an orange here. Narenji. Narenji. And yellow. Zard. Zard. Let's continue with some metals. Uh, it is golden. Taloi. Taloi. And it's copper. Messi. Messi. Red, Hermes, Hermes, and brown, Kahvi, Kahvi. Pink, Surati, Surati. Firuzei, turquoise, Firuzei. It's very popular here because we know it's such a Persian color. And silver is nokrei. Nokrei. Okay, let's, uh, let me tell you about something to, uh, something related to um, dark, uh, light, warm, cool, and faded colors. Here you can see some of colors, some of the colors that are called warm. And in Persian, we say garm. Garm. And cool or cold uh, colors means sad. Sad. Look at this picture. Uh, you can see uh, some parts that are somehow faded and, you know, um, Different colors are faded to each other. Uh, in this case, if you want to explain this, you can say abrangi, abrangi. And generally, watercolor means abrang, abrang. So, abrangi, abrang. As you can see here, we have a dark part. And we have a light or bright part. For dark, we say tire, tire. And for bright or light part, we say roshan, roshan. Let me give an example. Abie tire, abie tire, abie tire means dark blue. Abie Roshan. Abie Roshan means light blue. Let me tell you another point about colors in Persian. Sometimes we use a uh, uh, use the name of a, a thing or animal. Uh, for saying its color and its usual and everybody understand it usually everybody understanding such as here in Persian camel means shotor 
And when I want to say the color of a camel, I can say shotori. Shotori. Or, for example, uh, here, tomato is red. You can say uh, the red, but sometimes as... Uh, if uh, the color you are talking about is kind of special red, such as tomato, you can say goji. Goji in Persian is tomato. Goji, shotori. And here these are Barbary, but uh, in Persian uh, it means zereshk. And when you want to point at the color of them, you can say zereshki. Zereshki. Of course, we have a, a word in English to call zereshki, uh, but I just wanted to tell you that um, some Persian use uh, the name of an animal or a vegetable or something like that for telling its color. I hope you learned something new from this video. I hope you uh, leave me a comment, do subscribe and like this video. By the way, if you want to learn more, please uh, listen to my um, CastBox show and I will uh, teach you more about colors and you can enjoy it. Thank you. Bye.